and another thing is uh, this concept of uh, guttural palatals cerebral uh, dentals these concepts are currently being used in the uh, contemporary linguistics but these are all actually heavily borrowed from sanskritam so why i am telling all this is that uh, we should have uh, pride but not just blind pride but we should know that uh, we have scientific thinking uh, in our culture in our uh, indic studies there is a lot of scientific thinking it's not based on uh, blind faith and superstition namo namaha my name is shubha and you are watching tatvam youtube channel this is the eighth video in the varnamala series in this series i teach how to pronounce sanskritam sounds properly and also teach how to read and write the devanagari script and apart from this i also give lot of interesting and fascinating information about the sanskritam sounds so please do subscribe to tatvam youtube channel and don't forget to click the bell icon because then you will be notified when i add new videos if you are interested in learning sanskritam uh, through my online classes then please send an email to tatvam.sanskrit@gmail.com now let us look at the various sthanams in this picture uh, the various sthanams are marked in different colored dots let us start with the kanthaha the red dot shows the uh, sthanam of kanthaha in general when we say kanthaha we refer to the throat but here kanthaha refers to the place where there is this uh, small tongue that portion is kanthaha with respect to uh the sanskrit grammar when we are studying about the sthanam kantha refers to the place where there is the small tongue <coughs> the next portion is talu which is the hard palate in this picture it is uh, indicated by the orange colored dot and the next is murdha murdha is the roof of the tongue which comes li little more next to the talu and the fourth is uh, dantaha that is the teeth and the last part which is shown in this picture is the oshthau which is lips the lips are called oshthau in sanskritam Now let us look at the sutras which speak about the uchcharana sthanas. These sutras are from Siddhanta Kaumudi. The first sutra is Akuha Visarjaniyanam Kanthaha. This sutra mentions all the alphabets that is all the varnas whose place of origin is the kanthaha. So what are all these alphabets? a uh, uh please note that a uh, when a uh, uh is mentioned in the sutra it refers to all the 18 variations of that vowel a uh. what are these 18 variations we have seen when uh, we did the vowels uh, section that time i have explained uh, how each vowel has 18 variations so when the sutra says a uh, it refers to all 18 variations sutra is a condensed form uh, of explaining so this is how uh, things are coded in a sutra so a uh, then ku refers to the kavarga we had seen what is kavarga also in the consonant the first video of consonants kavarga is nothing but ka kha ga gha ng these five alphabets together are 
they are called as kavarga <coughs> a ku ha the the consonant ha this also uh, originates from this kantha portion visarjaniya refers to the visarga the two dots which we pronounce it like ah so these alphabets these sounds uh, originate in the kantha portion in english this these are called as gutturals in sanskritam since they originate from the kantha they are called as kanthyaha now pronounce these sounds and check for yourself from where these sounds are coming you can touch this portion you will feel the vibration coming from here when you pronounce a k kh g gh na ha ah so maximum vibration will be here the next sutra is ichu yashanam talu these alphabets have their place of origin in the talu talu refers to the hard palate so the sounds e which refers to all 18 variations of e chu refers to the chavarga which includes ch ch j j n y and this y and this sh this sh is called talavya shakara because its place of origin is the talu this sh is produced when the tongue goes close to the palate it doesn't touch the hard palate but it goes close to the palate and air passes between this gap when this happens this talavya shakara is produced this is sh now pronounce all these sounds and check for yourself whether this sutra is correct or not e ch ch j j n y y sh so e ch y sh these are all called these all these alphabets are called talavyas talavya in english they are called palatals the next sutra is rutu rashanam murdha murdha refers to the uh, roof of the tongue in this diagram it is indicated by a yellow dot so uh, the following sounds are produced when the tongue Uh, touches or comes in close contact with the murdha the sounds are r and all that includes all the 18 variations of the vowel r two indicates the tavarga which means t t d d n and r and this sh so this sh is called since uh, all these sounds Uh, originate from this portion murdha they are called murdhanya now pronounce all these sounds and check for yourself whether uh, it's coming from the contact of the tongue with the murdha portion r t th d dh n r sh the next sutra is lutu lasanam dantaha so this l that it is uh, it indicates all the 12 variations of this vowel l to means the tavarga which includes ta tha da dha na sa this sa so la this la and this sa these are all produced when the tongue touches the teeth so therefore they that is these sounds are produced in the dantaha region so they are called dantyaha now pronounce these 
uh, sounds and check for yourself where these sounds are coming from. L, T, Th, D, Dh, N, L, S. The next sutra is Upu Padmani Yanam Oshtau. So, U refers to all the 18 variations of the vowel U. Pu refers to the power ga, which is Pa, Pha, Ba, Bha, Ma. Upadhmani yaha, which we saw, is that F sound which comes when uh, Visarga is followed by this P or P, then we say this F sound like Punaf Punaha. So these sounds are produced from the lip region and therefore they are called Oshthyaha. You don't even have to check this, it's very evident. To summarize, the consonants are majorly classified like this. Uh, these sounds originate from the Kantha region. So they are called Kanthyaha in Sanskritam and in English they are called gutturals. These sounds originate from the Talu region which is the hard palate. In Sanskritam they are called Talavyaha. In English they are called palatals. Tathadadharna these sounds originate from the roof of the tongue, which is called Murdha in Sanskritam. So these sounds are called Murdhanyaha and in English they are called Cerebrals. Tathadadharna, these sounds originate from the teeth region. So they are called Dantyaha in Sanskritam and in English Dentals. Pabhabhama, originate from the lip region. So in Sanskritam they are called Oshthyaha and in English they are called labials. If you notice the arrangement of letters in Sanskrit, you can see how beautifully it is aligned to the human anatomy. We start from the Kanthyaha known as gutturals in English and we move further and further in the oral cavity and come to the last point, the Oshthyaha meaning Oshthau meaning the lips. These Oshthyaha are known as labials in English. Before going into the Karanam part, I would like to uh, add few points. That is, uh, by now you yourself would have noticed how scientific uh, Indians were, uh, ancient Indians were. So they studied these sounds very meticulously. They just didn't. Uh, they just didn't take it as the, these are the sounds of this language. In, and instead, they went deeper. They studied from where these sounds are coming. What is the position of the tongue when doing this? And based on this, the alphabets are classified uh, like this. How we study by learning the language. And another thing is uh, this concept of uh, gutturals, palatals, cerebrals, uh, dentals. These concepts are currently being used in the uh, contemporary linguistics. But these are all actually heavily borrowed from Sanskritam. So why I am telling all this is that uh, we should have uh, pride, but not just blind pride, but we should know that uh, we have scientific thinking uh, in our culture, in our uh, Indic studies, there is a lot of scientific thinking. It's not based on uh, blind faith and superstition, but instead it is based on a lot of scientific thinking. I hope this video was of value to you. If it was, then please do like, share and subscribe and comment below. If you have any doubts also, you can put them in the comments below. I will address them. And also please do click on the bell icon when you subscribe to the channel. 
so that you don't miss any of the videos when i upload them so agrima video madhye punarmilamaha dhanyavada Mm-hmm.